Yo, what's up guys? My name is Senator and welcome to this video where I'll be explaining how the idea for my track Hard With Sick got started. So in this video, I'm just gonna explain how I really assembled the first parts of this track and how it came to be. So let's get into it. This is the project. The break was like a few layers and I had a pretty simple idea of the thing that ended up being the drop for Hard. Uh, so let's listen to the final result first. So we, we kind of changed it up. Um, so what you see here is not what it became in the end. So this is what the final sounds like. I can feel your heart Okay, so there, this version goes further, um, but basically these two parts, like from here to here, is um, merged together to make this one part. So we got rid of the part right before, like this part, and we took this and went straight into the buildup, which was also like a double buildup, but it just both became one part and it ended up being this part right here or oh, this part and the other part which is the build up right before the drop so i'm gonna just explain how this started most elements of the break are in here already so let's just play it So the vocal wasn't here yet and basically so the second part this part is what you hear in the final version just beefed up a little by sick um, and some elements of this part the extra piece of buildup I had also merged into this as well to just make it a little more action-packed so I used to have a double buildup uh, which sounded more like some kind of festival intro or something so uh this is not in the track so i'm gonna play it and uh, so you can just hear it <laughs> so this was a little pre-build-up all uh, right here we go into the actual build-up So the break mostly started with these chords right here. Uh, let me see. But we ended up making them faster. So this is what you hear in the final. I think we changed the last chord because this doesn't sound quite right. But basically, uh, I layered these chords with some synths. Just to give it that more full vibe and just have it a little bit down there as well. Instead of the piano only playing like mids and highs, we wanted to have some more mid lows in there as well. And add the bass. which is multiple layers, we have this one. So without effects, it sounds like this. 
but I wanted it to have a more dirty feel and just have it a little bit more grit to it. So basically what I did, let me check. Uh, I think these filters are automations so they can stay on. Uh, so I did some really harsh EQing here, um, but it works. So it made the sound go from here to here. Then added some Camel Crusher. Uh, I just took the bass maker preset and I think I tweaked it a little bit here and there. But it used to sound like this. It was just a little too much for me, so I turned it down a little. Uh, added some room reverb to this. So I just basically turn up the wet and take the decay all the way down. You just get a nice like metal sounding, like a really small reverb. I don't think the filter, oh wait, the filter does something here. It's not automated. The other one's automated. Um, so I just got a filter on here because it had some harsh frequencies um, from the Camel Crusher. I just took them out with a filter. I tried with a Q as well, but this sounded the most natural and best to me. So that's why I did it this way. So the bass is layered with another bass which is basically just a sub with some crush on it. This is a free plugin, it's really nice. It has some cool bit crushing stuff and it's easy to tweak. And just got rid of some highs because, you know, we didn't want to have those. And those two together sound like this. The next thing I did was took some uh, violins I think I made these with the Flex plugin from Evel so itself. Yes, so it's the all string sustain preset. Um, but for some reason, Flex does not want to work on my computer. So when I play it, it's most likely gonna crack and do weird stuff. So I bounce it out every time. <laughs> so I have to mute the original pattern and sometimes even delete the full uh, plug-in itself, but it sounds like this. So that's that. Then I added this Jonas Aiden guitar loop. That basically filters up in the intro of the track. And I think in the end we took a lot of the Camel Crusher and Distortion away because it was quite a lot. Um, so that's that. And then I added these. This is a cashmere flute. Uh, I use it in almost every song. I just cut it up and it has become something signature for me to do and it just it works every time, gets the vibe going. Then I have some snaps, I think. Some claps to really get the groove going. Uh, tremolo by Sick and Sick Ray themselves. This is very much just EQ'd, uh, gotten rid of a lot of low end, just wanted it to get a little Atmos in there as well. And I did some stereo shaping on that just to give it some side frequencies. Then we have some basic drums. You know, just some crashes, just to make the transition. Trans, the God, just to make the transitions more smooth, and um, also some ambience, which I always just go ahead and do some stereo shaping on as well, just to give the room some, give it some room, give it some space, um, and of course get rid of some of the lows. And I got rid of the highs as well. Uh, cause we had a lot of highs already going on. 
and here this is a very like iconic part of the track uh, so this is actually a spitting vocal loop that I got of Splice um, and I just cut it up and made this out of it there's quite a lot of processing on this uh, so first we have an ODT, it's not doing quite a lot, I just turned it down to 26. And this is Manipulator, very nice plugin. Um, I just did some format pitching down and added the alternator effect, uh, which gives it that greedy dirty vibe. Uh, then we have some reverb, as you can hear as well. We have some EQing just taking care of some of the nasty frequencies going on because of the manipulator. Um, so that's that. And then I also added some stereo shaping on that. And this is the filter that you can see here, which is automated to uh, make the vocal just come up throughout the break and go into the buildup. Then we have some more risers and drums. This one is very important to the track, it's everywhere, so... And then some of these... Always gives it a nice vibe. And we have some fireplace atmos, just to fill up the empty gaps. So that's basically how I made the break, and just... The idea all came with the chords and the bass, and then it went into this buildup. which we didn't end up using, but... Most elements of the actual build-up are still in here, but it's more... Oh, hold on. This is actually all different kind of bass one shots by Matroda. Oh, it's all the same one. Oh, except for this one. Uh, just cut up, put in different places, and made it sound nice. Just to have something unique going on throughout the buildup. Um, then we have some more drones. These things really just fill up the full thing and we also have an arp going on which is uh, automated to pan from left to right it's really distorted but it's all the way in the background uh, in the final result so you don't really hear that uh, we have some build-up snares of course the 808 which is also fairly distorted as you can see, I also took it down a little, um, but it has some crush on it as well. Just a little bit of bit crushing to get that nasty bass going. So this is another 808, just pitch down, get the vibe going. Yeah, like that. Uh, and also, these are very important in my music as well. I just really like the sound of that, like the, the epic vibe it gives um, and the energy as well. So we have the violins going still. But this time it's only playing like a tension note just to keep it going. And this is a music box sound, but I took that out. Uh, it used to have an extra melody throughout the break. So that's something I used to have in there, um, but I then I ended up never using it. The rest of it is just fills, and then we go into the final part of the buildup. So what we do here is just again we have the 808 <laughs> all the way in there. Um, we shorten the vocal and just filter it away to make it a little more smooth. Uh, we have uprisers, and we also have the stab somewhere. Let me see. Here it is. 
So this is actually uh, something I made about a year ago by accident. I was trying to process a pluck as a drop lead, um, but it ended up sounding very dirty and nasty. And when I add a reverb tail to it, it sounds like this. So that's actually really cool to use as a stab. So I did exactly that. And now it is my signature stuff uh, that you can hear in most of my productions. Um, the remix for Shifting Gears I did like a year or two ago. And um, it is in my upcoming productions as well, which I'm working on right now. And now I'm going to play for you the very first version of the hard drop, uh, which was made with just this bass shot. Let me play it for you. Okay, so basically what I did is uh, I started with some drums. Very basic. Just having some fills in there, uh, some extra kicks to get the groove going. Um, just layer two claps on top of each other. This one's more like a dry clap and this is more bright. So together they have the, the slap and the crispiness. Then added the stab on the first kick. And something I always do, uh, unless it doesn't sound good, but mostly, is like reverse the kick into the first kick of the drop or after like a midsection just to go back into the drop, just have it there. And then added some more percussions here. And then this piano as well. But I think we took that out in the end, so I'm gonna mute it for now. So basically, right here, the melody of the drop was already there. Um, like, mostly, uh, the sounds weren't there yet. But I leave sounds, uh, at least in this track, I left sound design up to sick, because he's really good in sound design. This is the second part of the drop, it's pretty much the same, just some extra effects and drums. <laughs> So most of these sounds are still in the drop, except for, of course, the bass. So that's it for how the idea started. Um, I hope you liked this video, but make sure to go check out the part two that Sick has made, um, because he is explaining how he made the drop and how he managed to put this very big break into the short one that it is in the end. Uh, and also switches it up a little bit in the second part. After that, he sent me the stems. I did some correcting to that, um, but I kind of lost that project. Um, but I added some drop fills. I added some reeses in between the first part of the drop and the second part of the drop. And yeah, just added some final effects, added some final touches, things I wanted to have in there. Uh, made my stab a little bit louder as well. Um, you know, basic stuff. And then... Uh, I sent it back to Sick, he mastered it, and um, that part of the video you can see right over there on his channel, so I'm gonna put a little icon thing on top, so you can watch that video as well. Alright guys, that was it for this video, if you want me to make more content like this, make sure to let me know, leave a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one, ciao!